Hey soul friends, soul fam, it's Marie and welcome into another reading for my Sagittarius family. I hope you are doing well and staying safe. Please do check your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs if you would like more clarification. Remember the energies can be reversed and keep in mind that this is a general reading so it may or may not resonate for you. But if it does, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to our soul family, and talk to me down in the comments because I love hearing from you. And we are not strangers here. We are soul friends, soul fam. All right, Sag. We are going to be looking into the past, present, and immediate future energy of you and the person that you are connecting with all right but first the overall love energy for you right now we have the magician the world and the page of pentacles and this is really letting me know says that you are in this energy of truly manifesting something new with the magician here and the world card i feel like you've just completed a cycle a cycle with someone a cycle with yourself you've really just closed out something from your past and you're opening a new chapter you're manifesting something new possibly a new soul connection a new soul mate but at the same time even if this is love for you you are also very very focused on your coins you are focused on securing that bag being better than you were yesterday and really just competing with yourself competing with who you were you know a year ago to who you are now and how you can be a better person tomorrow okay i do feel like you are making things happen for yourself and you're truly truly focusing your energy towards that towards closing things out closing doors that need to be closed and opening doors that need to be opened and accepting in the opportunities in your life that are going to you know push you towards where you actually want to be all right looking into your past energy towards this person that you were dealing with we have the four of swords could be connecting with an air sign here but i do see that you took a break from someone you completely just either ghosted, you blocked them, you walked away. You said, hey, I need a break. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this right now. I need a breather. I need my space. And so you took that space. You took that space. And in the present moment with the Wheel of Fortune, you are really, really focused on major changes. Changes in every single arena. Changes moving forward. And I feel as though even if this is making a change with this person that you were dealing with, right, going back to them and saying, hey, what can we do to fix this moving forward? If that's not the case for you, you're making changes away from this person. You're making changes with yourself and with someone else. And I do see future energy as you continuing to pour into things that are important to you with the Empress card. You're continuing to nurture the things that <clears throat> nurture you. And I see you in a relationship with someone who does have a deep nurturing love for you. Okay, let's see. The past position, the past energy for the person that you are connecting with or were connecting with. We have the Eight of Wands could have been connecting with a fire sign. But this lets me know that it's so funny though because... This lets me know that even though you were in this energy of, I need a break from this in the past, their energy towards you was, oh no, no, I want to move things forward so fast. Okay, this was someone who, while you were taking a break, they were trying to figure out how to talk to you, how to stay in contact with you, how to move things forward with you. They weren't exactly accepting this break, right? In the present position, they have the three of cups. So I do see that they're actually like possibly trying to kind of get on your good graces again, be in your energy again. Even if they're not exactly in your life right now, I do see them wanting to at least be friends with you. I feel as though this is someone who might be trying to dabble in other pawns but they constantly come back to you. You know what I mean? Like they're constantly like, how can I make things work with Sagittarius, with the Three of Cups? In the future energy, whoo. 
Oh, I was like, where is it? In the future energy, we have the Eight of Cups for them. So it's interesting because you're continuing to move forward. Major changes, Wheel of Fortune. You're going to get what you give. What you put out into the universe is what's coming back to you. And you're focusing on what you project out because you know it's going to come right back. Major changes happening for you. Focusing on your coins. Focusing on closing those doors and opening new doors and making things happen for yourself in love and in just life in general. This person though, future tense, walking away. Walking away from this connection. Why though? Why are they walking away? I feel as though you are possibly going to block them out or they're going to realize that you don't necessarily want to start things up with them. And so all of this energy that they're trying to put towards you, you're kind of just not having it. You're not having it. Your energy is on nurturing yourself and having people around you that want to nurture you the way that you want to be taken care of that you want to be loved this is someone who definitely in the present moment thinks very restlessly about you in the past they had so much passion and i feel like they when you took that break from them in the past position i feel like that woke them up and they realized wow i did not realize what i had until it was gone past position present position they're they're ruminating about you restless about you wanting to get back in your good graces trying to move on but kind of can't move on and wanting to rush back in wanting to rush back in the situation i feel like was constantly up and down right constantly up and down <sighs> But I do see them walking away. I do see them deciding like, hey, this isn't, this isn't where I need to be. Possibly because you're not giving them any sign that you're open to accepting them back in, right? In the past, why did you take a break? The judgment card could be connecting with a Scorpio. You were making a decision. You were trying to decide where you want to put your energy. And I feel like you might have had an awakening moment about this person. And whether or not you wanted to take them into your future, excuse me, into your future or not. If you wanted them in your life or not, moving forward, right? Present position, the Wheel of Fortune. So you're making major changes. Why are you making major changes? And possibly making major changes away from this person who's trying to get back into your life, who wants to come back in, who still feels a strong physical and emotional tie to you. Regretted not taking you seriously in the past. Why are you making changes away from that? Because you view the situation as toxic. The devil could be connecting with the Capricorn, okay? And the Empress card for future energy of you pouring into yourself, nurturing yourself, you're taking your passion and you're starting over elsewhere. You're taking that passion that you have, all that energy that you're harnessing and pouring it into starting over, starting fresh with someone else. And I feel like this is really hitting home for this person right now, especially with them ruminating. If you're not opening yourself up to them, it's causing them to decide what to do next. And their next step is every single card of walking away. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Death card. So it's them cutting this off at the head and realizing, look, me being this obsessed with Sagittarius isn't good for me. If they're moving on, I need to move on. And I see them kind of falling out of your energy field. Okay, I do see that this is someone who did want to give you what you deserve they did want to balance things out with you they wanted to give you what you deserve what they probably didn't give you in the beginning but you're moving on you're moving on and although they haven't yet they will they in the present moment do want to give you what you deserve they want a reconciliation they want to talk to you they do what do you want <laughs> You, have, you still have passion for this person. You do, Sag. You have passion. There's still, there's still a desire here, right? But at the same time, you're moving away. I feel as though you're choosing to just stay grateful for what you have in your life, for the good in your life, focusing on the positive, and you're moving on. At the end of the day, you want to move away from this situation. That's exactly what you're doing. And they will too. They're going to fall out of your energy field. But right now... They're in this state of regret, of wanting to be a part of your life. 
but knowing that that door is closing because you are so, so focused on new love and possibly a new connection if it hasn't already come for you. All right. That is all I have for my Sagittarius family. Make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to our soul family if you haven't already. All right. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you. I love this energy. <laughs> Stay safe, balanced, and healthy. And as always, I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.